Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. I just want to start this video by saying thank you so much for helping me reach 5,000 subscribers here on YouTube. The growth of my channel recently has been so much fun to watch and honestly, I just can't thank you guys enough for supporting my channel. Leaving comments, liking videos, watching my videos. I mean, just thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart. The more I grow on YouTube, the more strategies I'm just going to continue to share with you guys and I'm so excited for my next few videos that I've got coming out. But if you guys stick around to the end, I'm actually going to have you guys vote on what the next YouTube video is going Going to be. So make sure you stick around. In this video, I want to talk about niching down and how you can really use your niche to grow on the YouTube platform. Now, I've mentioned this in a couple of other videos that you do need to niche down. You need to pick one specific topic and focus on that. And that's how you're going to grow a lot faster on YouTube. But I haven't really shared my strategy or my experience with this. So let's go back to the very beginning. Hey guys, today I'm going to walk you through a tutorial on how to use Instagram stories on obviously your phone. When I first started my YouTube channel, the main purpose of it was to create videos that were going to enhance my blog posts. If you guys didn't know, I do have a website called thecontentbug.com, which is where I share all of my digital marketing tips and stuff. But I got started on YouTube because I wanted to create video tutorials and stuff like that. Well, over time, I didn't really know the direction that I wanted to take my YouTube channel. So I just started uploading videos about everything and anything. And let me tell you, my channel was all over the place. If you guys would have seen it back in the day, it was a mess. And because I didn't really have a niche, because I wasn't focused on one specific topic, I was getting barely any views to my YouTube channel. And it took me over a year to generate my first 300 subscribers. No one wanted to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And there's a reason for that. When you are uploading videos that are all over the place and your audience doesn't know what to expect, your audience isn't actually going to subscribe to your channel. People are going to subscribe because they look forward to your content and they're excited for the next video that you are going to upload. So if you are all over the place and your videos are talking about whatever the heck you want to talk about, not many people are going to subscribe to that unless they truly fall in love with your personality, which is a little hard to do at the very beginning as a beginner. And the other reason why I wasn't getting any views on my videos at that point in time was because I wasn't telling YouTube that I wanted to be an expert in one niche and they had no idea where to recommend my videos, how to recommend my videos, and they weren't going to rank my videos higher because I didn't have other videos that worked off of each other. You know, so now you guys know I am focusing on YouTube. I'm really sharing only videos related to YouTube so that I can prove to the YouTube algorithm that I am an expert in YouTube and that I want my other YouTube related YouTube videos to rank in search and to be recommended to my viewers, my subscribers, as well as other people across the YouTube platform. So let me share my strategy here and really just explain how this works, how you can find your niche, how you can niche down, and really how you can use it to your advantage. If you have no idea what a niche is, basically it's it's your main category, your main topic, the videos that you create. So me, my niche is digital marketing, but in particular, I'm mainly talking about YouTube, blogging, and Pinterest. So your niche is your topic, your category, I guess you could say. So you could be a lifestyle YouTuber. You could be a family vlog YouTuber. You could be a car YouTuber. I always bring up the car YouTuber for some reason. You could be a beauty influencer or a beauty YouTuber where you just talk about makeup or fashion, but that is your niche. You focus on one specific topic, that is your niche. Now, if you have no idea how to find your niche, what are you truly passionate about? Honestly, that's what it comes down to. What could you create hundreds of videos on and you wouldn't be bored? That is where you're going to find your niche. Now, like I already said, my niche is digital marketing, but honestly, that is too broad. And at the very beginning, I was sharing a lot of videos that were not related to digital marketing. But once I realized that I had a niche down, I was still talking about Instagram, Pinterest, blogging, SEO, YouTube. I mean, the topic of digital marketing is very, very broad. And I realized that even niching down to just digital marketing was not enough to actually grow my YouTube channel. So what I think you guys should do is pick one to three main topics that all of your YouTube videos are going to fall under. So when I decided to niche down with my channel, I decided to only talk about blogging, Pinterest, and things that I was able to accomplish or sharing my strategies with you guys, which allowed me to be a bit more flexible. But most of my videos were blogging and Pinterest. Now, because I implemented that strategy, that's really how I've gotten to the point where my channel is at today, where I'm talking about YouTube. You know that third category where I was sharing how I was able to do things? Well, that's why I launched my YouTube video talking about how I became monetized on YouTube, which ended up taking off. And I realized that you guys were very much so interested in YouTube related videos. So I decided to kind of scrap my other categories that weren't performing as well for me and just focus on 
on YouTube. So let's say you are that family vlog channel that I brought up before. You want to make sure that you are creating only family vlogs. You do not want to then just jump into the car segment and share a car YouTube video because that's not actually going to help you. Your viewers aren't interested in that and no one is going to want to subscribe if they don't know what they can expect from you. People are more likely to subscribe to me at this point in time because they know I'm going to upload YouTube related YouTube videos that's going to help them grow their small YouTube channel. So if you are sharing family vlogs and people are really interested in your family vlogs and then you randomly break away from that, that's not going to help you actually grow on the YouTube platform. The more specific you are within your niche, honestly, the better. And this can be very, very hard within the lifestyle niche in particular. And I've gotten a couple of comments here on YouTube from lifestyle YouTubers saying, okay, how do I pick my niche? Like, what the heck do I do here? How do I niche down to grow on the platform? And honestly, what I think you need to do is use that strategy. Pick one, two, three main topics that you want to focus on in every single YouTube video and only create those kind of YouTube videos. In the future, when your channel is more successful, I honestly think you can more so break away from your niche and expand a little bit. But especially as a small YouTuber, I'm talking to all you small YouTubers out there, it is really going to help you if you niche down. But to go beyond that, once you have your niche, you need to start with the basics. And this is something that I messed up when I was first trying to niche down. I like to think that my audience is a bit more advanced, that they already have blogs, that they already have YouTube channels, and that they already know the basics. And I want to share more advanced strategies. But the reality is, if I want to target the people that need more advanced strategies, I also need to target the people at the very beginning stages of their YouTube journey or their blogging journey. And that's exactly why I ended up coming out with some YouTube videos covering the basics, like how to write a blog post, how to start a YouTube channel, Pinterest basics that you need to know. I ended up launching those YouTube videos because I wanted to target the people at the very beginning because in a month or honestly, even after they watch a few of my very basic YouTube videos, then they were going to need my more advanced strategies. So what I would recommend you do is grab a piece of paper, a pen, and honestly jot down all of the ideas, all of the questions that you think your audience could have that they may be searching for. And do not be afraid to dumb it down a little bit or get back to the basics because those videos are going to attract people to your channel and then your more advanced content or your more interesting content or it really honestly just depends on your niche. That's what's going to keep them hooked and that's what's going to keep them around for longer. And I know that it can be hard sometimes to think like your audience and put yourself in your audience's shoes. But what I like to do, I like to go to the search bar on YouTube and I start typing anything and everything. And I do not try to use the lingo that I know. I try to think as if I was a beginner. If I was in that first stage, what would I actually be searching for on YouTube? And that is where you're going to find your best video ideas that are going to create a good foundation for your channel. This is all about building a foundation for your channel so that when people find your channel, then they can move to your other videos on your channel, which is really the next thing that I want to talk about. You guys already know that my monetization video is currently doing very well on YouTube. YouTube ended up picking it up and is now promoting it on people's homepages as well as within the suggested section. And I'm getting a lot of comments from you guys saying that you found me from your homepage, which is just so crazy. And I'm so incredibly grateful. But since that video is now taking off and it's doing really well within the algorithm, I kind of figured that my other YouTube related YouTube videos would start to get more views as well. And I want to share the analytics with you guys because this is the main reason why I think niching down is so important. The YouTube algorithm is pretty unpredictable. You can't decide what video YouTube is going to pick up and end up pushing across the platform. So if you have one video that ends up going viral or it's just being promoted on people's homepages, you want to make sure that you have other videos for people to watch as well so that they subscribe and that they watch more videos on your YouTube channel and really just help the growth of your channel in general. So let's take a look at my analytics. Just this week, this bar right up top here ended up appearing on my analytics page and it's telling me that my channel views are up by 331% because of interest in one of my older videos. If I click on this, tell me more, it's actually saying that YouTube is recommending this video on people's homepages and that's why the views are up. And it's actually showing me the video even though I already know what video it is. But one of the other things that it is telling me in here, which I have mentioned in my past two YouTube videos, is that you need to focus on your title, your thumbnail, and your engagement. And this specifically says, something about the topic, title, and thumbnail of this video have become particularly attractive to your viewers lately. And that is exactly why this video is doing so, so well. But I'm gonna exit out of this and we're gonna take a look at my views. This blue line right here, and you can see this huge spike, that's because of my YouTube video talking about how I became monetized on YouTube. But what I want to specifically take a look at, because this one, it adds a very, very dramatic kind of slope to the analytics. So I wanna take a look at my first YouTube paycheck. 
understanding the algorithm as well as zero to 1000 subscribers here on YouTube. And what you can see is this one, this green line, that is a new YouTube video that I just launched the other day. So that had a pretty big spike and it's just performing well because the new subscribers to my channel are very interested in YouTube. But the other two YouTube videos I've had on my channel for a while and they were doing okay. Honestly, they weren't doing great. They weren't my top performing YouTube videos. But since my monetization video ended up taking off, these videos are getting significantly more views just because this monetization video was doing so well. So guys, niching down is going to help you to appear in search. Honestly, YouTube is going to like you more if you niche down and you try to become an expert in one specific topic. But then when people land on your YouTube channel, you're more likely to get views on your other videos. They are something that your audience is really interested in and it's all going to happen because of your niche. So that is it with this YouTube video. I hope you guys liked it and found it helpful. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below. The next video that I'm going to upload, I've got two options for you guys. I could talk about how to become more comfortable on camera or try to improve your camera presence for your YouTube channel. Or I do want to talk about how you can make more interesting videos and keep your viewers interested for longer to boost your watch time. So let me know what video you want to see in the comment section down below. I will see you guys back here soon. Bye guys.